Well, t lived on a corner of the block. He had big brown eyes and long dreadlocks. There were five steps leading up to the door. He looked out the window as it started to pour. Well, it rained for an hour, and up the water crept. No worries, he said, as it covered one step. Water flowed down the street, carrying all kind of things. I wonder, he thought, what this water might bring. Right then, from afar, he heard the faint whine, and root to his steps swam a little canine. You poor little pup, all alone, what a shame. No tag or a collar, I should give you a name. Oh, hero, where you go to flow? Picked up the puppy and kissed its wife Snoop. No need to rush naming, we'll find one that suits. It came down in buckets, the street river it grew. This can't go on forever as it rose to step two. Well, the wind blew the rain sideways and the flood water it rose higher. Then up to his stoop, bounced to old floating tires. We could use these, little pup. If the flood gets too high, I don't like the wet, I much prefer dry. Step three was now covered, two steps from the door. Then up to his stoop, floated to two by four bones. These may come in handy if we do have to float. But with a couple more items, we got us a boat. All heroes. Came down more and more. T Roy had some worry as it covered step four. But he did not despair, he always had hope. Went to the fourth step up, floated some rope. He placed the two boards on top of the tires, then tied them up tight as the water rose higher. He picked up the pup and pet his fur coat. Your name is now Piro, like the Cajun swamp boat. As the fifth step got covered, he told his house bye. He grabbed an umbrella to keep them both dry. They hopped on up Piro, we're off the dry land. We'll come back and we'll build as soon as we can. Oh, Piro. Oh